Check, check. Tip up or bump. Check, one, two. <laughs> Mike's hot. Mike is hot. Hey, dude. Yo, yo. Cheese. Thanks, man. Straight from Gary V. <laughs> I got mine. Mine are a little Stuss. dirty though. Mine too. Weekend. Sorry, you know, videographers, we get our shit dirty. We get our hands dirty, we get our shoes dirty. The psych wall, if you could see the floor right now, it's actually really dirty. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually kind of digging this low angle. I wasn't sure if I was into it at first. My name is Dave, otherwise known as Dave is Media, and this is Matt Burroughs, who's going by MJB TV. Always, baby. Ever Always. since 2010. Since 2010, that's right. You were telling me that you've been posting videos as long as MKBHD. Yeah, casually. Did I get that right? Yeah, MKBHD. MKBHD. It's kind of funny that he also has a five letter name. So since that's pretty interesting. 2010. I definitely yeah. haven't been making videos since 2010. I graduated college in 2009. <laughs> Not saying that those videos were good. Right. They were definitely <laughs> up. But, but like, you were sending it. Oh yeah. So this is our like first kind of sit down talk. Um, it's a little promo, I guess, for our upcoming podcast uh, slash video cast that we're going to be doing, which is called Early Work. But, you know, we're going to be talking a lot about um, where our media has been, where, where our yeah, kind of Yeah, basically orange, origins, like where do we come from? And both of us are from Maine, we grew up in southern Maine. Um, this guy goes to UMaine, he's got one more year to go. Yep. And I had this idea, um, it was kind of a mutual agreement. Uh, we were doing a bunch of shoots for this David Ortiz cookbook that I um, put together, and Matt has a credit in that. So all the while, I'm thinking, man, I don't know if I'm gonna have somebody else that's awesome help me in the future. So basically everything since that project ended, which I think was like 2017, it was like published. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that was the release, right? So once it was released, I said, okay, well, I've still got more edit work. Like, who am I gonna call? And so I keep hitting up Matt. Ghostbusters, like, baby. <laughs> Ooh. Um. So I keep saying, yo, Matt, I need some edits. Like, I, you know, I don't want to do all the editing. I've done this for 12 years. I don't want to edit. You know, when I'm in the, the office, edit. I'm like, hey, Matt, you want to do this thing? Cause I don't want to do it. I'm the yes man, you know, that's how it is. You just gotta, that's that's something I recommend everyone, you know, my age being is a yes man. You know, never say no to a project, even if you don't know how to do it, like half ass it and tell them that you don't know how to do it. I would agree learn. with that. I, that's how I got most of my first clients. They're like, hey, can you do this? And I said, yes. And then 10 minutes later off the phone, I was like, oh my God, how do I do that? Fact. So like reaching out to get that to the point, cause not everyone has a Dave, you know, where you can just be like dishing out edits all so, the time. Um, how, how, like I reached out to you, what, via Instagram or was it YouTube? I think it was comment? via YouTube, Yeah, a comment. And now here's the thing, at the time I was trying to do a daily vlog and I was probably hitting on like three to four days a week for about two months in the summer. So you actually know my best friend since growing up, JR, mm -hmm. through the radio. Yeah, I've just been listening to him for, for a while. So it was interesting. I followed his content and then I saw Dave in there making said content. I was like, oh, you guys need any help? Like, put the pieces together. Simple as that. Just reached out, asked if you need any help. I didn't even like, I kind of just sent you my YouTube channel, I think. Yeah, I was check like, it out. I can render out a video. So, um, but yeah, it was really cool to be able to just jump right in. We didn't start with like crazy gigs though. I started with like gaffing at DJ events. Yeah, like, so really. JR was DJing around Southern Maine. He was doing his YouTube channel because I pushed him, I said, dude, you're a great DJ, but wouldn't you love to have like thousands of subscribers and make some money on YouTube? Like, yeah. he has the personality. If you guys don't know, check him out. He's the radio host on I-1067 in Nashville. We'll link him down below. Um, yeah, we'll link him below so you can listen to what he's doing. You can go check out his YouTube channel. But I said, I'm like, this is silly. Like, you're way more charismatic than I am. Like, mm. you should have a YouTube channel. Like, I'm putting up YouTube videos. You should definitely put up YouTube videos. For sure. I feel like that's the gospel that we spread everywhere we go. We go, oh, you know what? You should make a YouTube channel. <laughs> like, what am I doing in life? Well, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Do you do it? Great. Are you great at it? Yeah. Okay. YouTube it. Yeah. So, but back to when you came and visited me at my studio in Saco at the mm -hmm. time, you know, I check all my comments cause I, you know, only, only got like a couple hundred views per video. And I was like, oh, this dude is like in college, like perfect. He does video. I was like, yeah, I want to meet this guy. Boom. And we have some footage that maybe we'll roll. Yeah, we'll roll that right now. Yeah. Okay. I'm about to meet up with Matt Burroughs. He um, contacted me via social media and he puts out some great photography. Check out his Instagram, I'm gonna link below to all his stuff. 
and uh, hopefully him and I are gonna work together in the summer. He goes to UMaine, so he doesn't have a ton of avail availability now, but um, he's back for Thanksgiving break. Finally getting to meet this so, guy right here. I like your photos, walk, man. Oh, thank you. Matt came through, we're just talking some biz and just catching up. How we doing on a Saturday? Yeah, checking out the studio. It's pretty dope. It's different than it looks on camera, though. That is always a big thing, right? Yeah. You know, when you're in the studio, you get the blind. Yeah, it's so much different. And like, yeah. you know, I could do this and you can't really tell where I'm at. Yeah. But if you go like that, you see it all. So, as you can see, Matt is like a lot different now. A little bit. He shed his former self and he is now his current self. It was like a butterfly to, you know, like a worm to a butterfly or whatever, caterpillar to a butterfly. And yeah, and I'll say even more so like personality wise too. Yeah. Way more out of your shell. Like at that time, I think it was easy for us to talk because we were both into video. Yeah. But now that we have a wider range of topics. Yeah, we've we've spent a lot of time together doing like random road tedious trips. things. Yeah. So road trips, working, not working, just travel. Building sets, breaking down sets, mm -hmm. editing. We've pretty much done footage. most things I feel like that you can do for a YouTube. Had a beer together now that Matt's 21. Wow. Yeah. We couldn't even drink together back no, then. No, I was like, hey, you wanna, yeah, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, at, at this point in time, I am like feeling the effects of this juice cleanse that we're both on that we started today. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm um, feeling it right I'm now. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating so. <laughs> Uh, I guess a little side rail. Um, we're both starting a 10 day clan starting today. It was a bad idea. Um, on the day of this I'm filming, I'm not sure it. when it's gonna go up. But uh, it. yeah, it's the maple lemonade challenge essentially. That's what you can, you can look it up. It's the maple lemonade uh, cut. It's good though. I will say it tastes good. It does taste good, but there's so much cayenne. There's a lot of cayenne. <laughs> you got all yours trapped in the handle of these jugs. Mm. I think I, I'm gonna go get my jug. I'm gonna buy one of these for you, Thanks. these zooms. Ooh. So this thing is clutch. I just had this shoot in New York City and um, I was filming these nuns. They're lovely women, lovely ladies. And um, as you can see, this Ooh. thing right here. It's a beast. It records everything right to the SD. It's kind of amazing. What it's essentially what, a Zoom H4 yeah. without the XLR in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and actually advanced. on the end here, this is turning into a gear review. You can um, plug in the top. Oh, the zoom. zoom. Okay. So you could actually get either extra XLRs. It, it's essentially, it's still a zoom, it's just small, and it's a mic pack, so. How much was know. that? Um, this thing was 269, I wanna say. Hmm. Nice. But, but it's like an all-in-one. All-in-one, and it records to a micro SD card, so you don't, you just need uh, AAA batteries. That's not That's bad, it. and you can get rechargeable ones. But I gotta get you a mic so we can both be mic'd because I have no idea what this audio is gonna be like. We're I'm sure it'll the, sound all right. I think it'll be okay. We're in the psych wall area. Um, the, the audio kind of carries because this warehouse is big. Um, and, and we're in like the corner looking out. <clears throat> so we have, yeah, so all the all the sound is just drifting that way. And we have one mic, uh, the, the, the fluffy little road mic on top of Dead the cat. 70D. Yeah, actually, yeah. When I was doing the uh, Matt Light shootout and it was just soaked, it looked like a dead rat. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing that shoot. Like, oh, Darryl. what's that? Oh, it's Shout out Daryl Adams. Daryl Adams, boom. But oh yeah, so this is the jug. This mm. is my sustenance and Matt's yeah. sustenance. I yeah. labeled mine. Mine says Dave. Mine says Maddie McFly. I like your um. label better. So yeah, what have we been up to? The past week, you know, we've been- You got settled in a little bit. Settled in. We're down in North Carolina. We didn't really preface that. Um, two guys remain sweating in North Carolina. It's a great time, but um, you know, it is a lot hotter and uh, a lot of different things happening down here compared to Maine. Northeast is a little bit dry, I'd say, in terms of uh, things to do. So- Yeah, there's just like, I don't know. Most of my friends I grew up with just didn't make content. And mm -hmm. I like, I love them. They're my friends, but yeah. nobody when I was growing up made content or I always had a video camera. Like we were trying to recreate Jackass. <laughs> always, like that was always. the show when we were like in high school, we were like, oh my God, drive that shopping cart into the bush. It'll be hilarious. Exactly. <laughs> that exactly. was the extent of the thought. It's the early form of memes and just kind of viral yeah. short videos. <sighs> if memes were around. Um, but we've yeah. been pretty busy, you know, editing <clears throat> and shooting. We just got back from uh, Tennessee. Um, with Max, who you guys will probably see in another video. I'm gonna probably make a video talking about what it what it's like to work for a YouTuber. Yeah, we'll have Max um, on this show. Yeah, we'll definitely have Max in. He could literally walk in at any moment. And it, it could happen, I'm sorry. If it happens, we're, get, we're leaving it in. Yeah. But um, 
But yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Like going from 2010, being like, oh, like look at all these YouTubers. Now I'm just like working for one. I have access to the studio. Um, I can use any of the sets. So it's pretty awesome. Um, we'll talk more about that in another video for sure. But we've been super busy. We're just kind of here for a few days and then we're flying back out. Yeah, we're going to Dallas on Sunday to do some uh, some shooting and edit work for a whole week. I really don't know why we picked this week to do that because <laughs> usually when you travel, you eat pretty good. And but you now we're gonna bring bags drinks. of lemons. <laughs> we've, got a, we've been editing. Um, just got an apartment to stay in yesterday. So we're gonna be transitioning into there. Um, we're getting kind of the workflow down because Matt just moved down here. So we have a slightly different workflow than if it was just him and I, you know, that would be a lot easier. Yeah, it's a little bit more casual between two people, <clears throat> but now you have to have the ability for other people to come into play and still know what the hell is going on. Right, so just, you know, if somebody's shooting, the other person's editing, and then we're making images, we're basically a whole like Gary V team in three people and we're making all this content for Max. So Max and I, we have an agency together, but Max owns this building. He owns a bunch of real estate, so he does real estate investing. We'll put all um, of his social down below as well. Believe me, when you find Max's channel, you'll be like, damn, this guy has a lot of videos and mm -hmm. he's like active, active out there. So part of what, um, a majority of what we do is we make content with Max, uh, podcasts, YouTube videos, Instagram, Instagram TV, Twitter. Um, write articles on LinkedIn, all that. So that's basically what our day is. And a lot of times it's scattered. The schedule is kind of all over the place. So yeah. we try to <clears throat> make the schedule as good as possible, but the reality is you just roll with the punches. That's Especially with Max being one who has to, you know, oh, I have to get up and go to a, a physical location right now. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, who wants to go film? Like, right. you, gotta, you gotta bring a camera, you gotta, like be on your on your guard at all times, essentially. It's, it's usually not studio work. It's like, we do some studio stuff, but um, you know, he walks through houses and um, that's kind of, you know, people, what people want to see. How'd you get that house? How much did it cost? Yeah. How much did it sell it for? Are you going to do it again? What's your net? You know, it's like tips and tricks, how to's, but great business. YouTube is like, look at this YouTube. I, it's everywhere in my life. My my some of my really good friends who run the Warp Zone channel. Mm -hmm. They just got their channel back. Shout out to you guys, um, Brian and um, Davis and um, the, and the other guys. They um, we did our student film together senior year, <laughs> and so from 2009 when we made this terrible to actually have this movie. So if I can find it, we'll show a clip. Yeah, you should definitely try to find a clip. This, okay, so this all relates back to the idea of early work is because when I watched our movie like a, a few weeks ago, I was like, this is trash, mm -hmm. just terrible. But we're also seniors in college with no idea how to make a movie. So myself, <laughs> we did what we could and we, you know, we had to shoot it on DV. Mm -hmm. We had to edit and, you know, make log notes in real time. We didn't have all this digital stuff. We were like on the cusp of like analog to digital, but Brian and Davis and um, Schroeder, they run um, the Warp Zone and they have like a few million subs. Yeah, they're, they're like legit. They're crushing it. They've been doing YouTube for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're beasts. And I mean, you know, seeing, seeing YouTube go from a place where it was just a hobby to a place where people can actually, you know, make money and still do stuff that is enjoying, like they enjoy, um, is super cool. You know, YouTube's been kind of having waves lately with kind of their content creation, right? Um, in terms of you know ad revenue and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, the content's still being made and people are still putting stuff out. So it's really cool. It's, I don't think it'll be going anywhere for a while. I don't think so either. People are like, "What's the next platform?" I think you want to. You want to see it in terms of what's the next iteration or next YouTube. medium yeah. versus right. YouTube will always be a platform. It's video. Like yeah. I picked the best job, the yeah. best thing to study at the best time. Yeah. It was like the market crash, like the housing crash You're like, and, and video. And I was like, yeah, but I make videos. And Boom. so I got a job right out of school. Um, yeah. That was in 2009 and here we are in 2019 and I have Matt who is much more than super intern Matt, but that is who he is to me. He shoots, he edits. We're working on the, the filming. I'm just happy that I have somebody I can teach some of my stuff to. Yeah. And I think he teaches me a lot of editing, like a lot, a lot of editing, shortcuts, and things that save me time. I'm always pumped to learn. Yeah, we're just like, just like, oh, that only took you two seconds? Okay, how do I do that? Yeah, I think that was the biggest thing is that I started with editing and like, 
I would have Me mediocre too. content, but I would still like be like, oh, I gotta put this out like now. So it'd be like, okay, <clears throat> just kind of learn the process over and over again. I mean, if you've been on my channel, this is my first actual video in what, two years? But um, Dang. yeah, That's I mean, for like something that I've actually like taken the time to go through. We're gonna um, have to look back at the last video you put out. Yeah, I think the I last one I put is. out was just like, random shop talk, me talking like freshman year in nice. my dorm. So, um, you know, the quality con of content is definitely gonna go up um, for sure using this space, using Dave, using Max, all as mentors and guides kind of in terms of media. Um, it's, it's just been a great journey, you know, from 2010 to 2019, it's a good time. So I think no better time to start than now. Yeah, let's just, that's the thing, just start. Like we threw some lights here, like we didn't really do all that much mm -hmm. and um, Yep. You know, we're just sending it on the video. Exactly. Yo, what's up, Day Rock? Oh. Um, I've just put that clip in the QA folder. You can take a real quick. And I'll start putting it in the upload. So that was J Rock. That's our third, uh, pick it up. third, you know, third team member. He's kind of our, our yin yang. And I don't know what, if there's another yin yang like type term, but yeah. it's all three of us are kind of just like the pool of content here. Yeah, we, we try to do every single job, but J-Rock has been with Max since Max did probably like six or seven videos on his own. Mm -hmm. Walked into Best Buy, J-Rock was repping Sony, and Max pretty much on the spot said, hey, I shoot YouTube content, do you wanna shoot for me? I'll actually pay you real money. And I think that day bought like a lens that J-Rock was like, yo, you should buy this. Yeah. So Max was like, cool, done. So yeah, J-Rock, he's been, he knows Max's model probably better than both of us. Uh -huh. So that, yeah, that was a third team member of the of strictly the content team. Max obviously is a member of his own team because it's his team. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you just gotta start throw some lights together, turn on the camera, have decent audio. And believe me, I mean, if you if you guys are still here from my channel, like you, you've you noticed that I did not have any lighting, no mics, it was just pretty much raw from the camera um, or whatever I had at the time, even if I didn't have a camera, it was mm -hmm. my phone. That's right. Um, but yeah, honestly, like don't let that stop you because you know, even though I didn't like all that content, I sent it to Dave and it still ended up getting me here. So it's like, That's right. you, you should always build a portfolio if you can, you know, and being young, my age, we're always on social media and stuff. And that's something that you can apply to any business. So if you can bring in value and skill there, you can be like, look, you need this because yeah. everyone needs. And I know how business. to do it. Exactly. That's Boom. how you do it. That's how I got my job. So see, I was like, oh, this is like a young me. Like he knows what's going on. Yeah. That's crazy to me that we talk about the same stuff and I'm 12 years older than you. Mm -hmm. That's that's the power of YouTube. Like you don't have to be the same age to like the same shit. Yeah, you gotta bring mindsets together. And that's always something that like when I did live streams and stuff, you know, you had age range from you know 12 year olds to 30 year olds, but everyone's talking about tech. Everyone's talking about interests that are, that's right. are something that's, you know, beyond you know, an age or a personality, you can kind of all get together and enjoy content. Yeah. So so early work is here, We're making a podcast. Yep. Just go out there and make content. That's my only message to people who watch your stuff. Just send it. Send it.